Hello and welcome back. This is the next video in our Air Fryer 101 series. We're going to do cheeseburgers in the air fryer. Now obviously you can do cheeseburgers in the air fryer, but should you do cheeseburgers in the air fryer? Let's find out. Hit that subscribe button down there. Don't forget the bell icon so you don't miss any videos like this one. And check this out. We already have the fryer mostly preheated, so I just have enough room for one of these big massive burgers in there at a time with my fryer. This is actually a venison burger, 80-20 with beef fat, and I got it seasoned with High Mountain Seasonings Original Burger Season. This looks absolutely fantastic. I'll put a link to that also in the description below. And we'll pop it in the fryer. We're gonna set this for 400 at eight minutes. Mmm, High Mountain Original Burger Seasoning, mmm. At the two minute mark, we're going to go ahead and pull that out and have a look. And give this dude a flip. And there, flip that over. Stick it back in. We'll let that go that other two minutes and then check the temperature to show you how done it got in eight minutes. Okay, let's see what kind of temperature we got there. There's our burger. Right in the middle. I am not done yet. We are at 117 degrees and I need about 135. So we're going to pop that back in for another couple minutes. Alright, so we pop that in for three more minutes and we'll try it there. It's been in for about that three minutes now, and this was a thick burger, man. This is over a third pound of venison, and obviously it takes a little more time than some of your other burgers. That looks a lot better. Let's see what we got here. Certainly done. 156. So I'm going to go ahead and get that out of the plate. All right. Put it on the bun. We'll let it sit there for a minute and let my cheese melt. I could pop it back in, but I don't want to cook it anymore. So there's the burger with our little sides on there. I didn't want to cook it anymore because it looked like it was getting a little overcooked as it is. Now remember at the beginning of the video I said you can cook burgers on your air fryer, but should you? Now's where we find out. Hmm. It's actually a little overdone, but it's not bad. So, in a nutshell, should you cook your cheeseburger in an air fryer? No, if you have a grill. If you have a grill, don't be lazy. Go out there and fire up the grill and cook the burger the way you're supposed to cook the burger. It's supposed to be cooked on a grill. I don't care if it's a gas grill, a pellet grill, a charcoal grill. Some kind of grill is always going to be a better burger. Yep, I said it. But those of you that live in condos, apartments, places like that where you can't have a grill, knock yourself out. You're just going to have to experiment a little bit with time and temperature to make sure you don't overcook your burger. I will tell you right now, these burgers will go from undercooked to overcooked like that. So you really got to stay on top of it. But at the end of the day, it's a cheeseburger. It's not a piano. So definitely, if you can't have a grill, you're not going to have any problem making cheeseburgers with your air fryer. And of course, the bigger air fryers are going to let you cook multiple burgers at the same time. So I hope that helped answer your question. Links to the other Air Fryer 101 series is up there in the cards and links to everything we've used is in the description below. Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button down there. Don't forget the bell icon so you don't miss any videos. We'll see you next time. I need sauce. Need some sauce. Mmm, High Mountain Original Burger Seasoning. Mmm. I don't sound like Homer Simpson. I look a little bit like that. That sounded like Homer Simpson. And that gave us drinking water while I'm setting all this up on video, so there's another three minutes. Links to our air flyer. Close enough. Jeez.